Though Shakira expressed that she isn't yet ready for a formal relationship, two years after her breakup with longtime partner Gerard Peake, she might be amenable to a brief affair. Before divorcing in 2022, the 47-year-old Colombian hitmaker and the 37-year-old Spanish football player were married for 11 years and had two boys, Milan, 11, and Sasha, 9. There were rumors that Gerard had cheated on Shakira with 26-year-old Clara Chia, his current lover from his previous job. I'm not considering that. When asked about her dating situation this week by Rolling Stone, she said, what space do I have for a man right now? What can I tell you, I like men, she went on. That's the issue. Considering everything that has occurred to me, I shouldn't like them, yet you can only imagine how much I still like guys. Shakira has been romantically linked to A-list actors Tom Cruise and racing champion Lewis Hamilton after splitting from Gerard. Shakira has been cited with the gorgeous Lucien Laviscount, 32, who participated in the sultry music video for her song Punteria in March. He is the hottie of Emily in Paris. She and Lucien are seeing each other but are not heavily involved yet, a source claimed in April. Shakira, however, insisted to Rolling Stone that her children's welfare comes first and that she isn't now interested in dating. The she-wolf hitmaker said, I think my kids would have to be very prepared for that, and their emotional and psychological well-being is the priority. However, it seemed that she might not be against a future romance. The mother of two said to the publication, Hey, I'm not opposed to having friends. In addition, Shakira said she had her sexy back. More stuff. I regained my confidence. She remarked, and I got my sexy back. Shakira's situation has much improved from the agony she went through two years ago when she broke up with Gerard and became involved in a protracted legal dispute over tax evasion in Spain. At the age of 99, her father had likewise experienced a horrific fall. Having undergone six surgeries, he is currently recovering. Regarding that period of time, she said, it was probably the worst pain I had ever felt in my life, and it sometimes prevented me from functioning. It seemed as though someone had pierced my chest. And it felt nearly bodily, the experience was so real. She said, I felt physically as though I had a hole in my chest and that people could see right through me. Then, the music legend opened up about the sacrifices she made for Gerard and how, since their breakup, she has started to rediscover herself. There are aspects of yourself that seem to have been lost along the way when you end a long-term relationship, she said to the newspaper. Certain aspects of yourself are altered or abandoned for another. You feel as if you have nothing left after that connection ends and that you must heal, go within, and find your true self again. Throughout their relationship, Shakira put Gerard and their kids first. She even relocated to Barcelona to be with him, as he was a soccer player for FC Barcelona. But Shakira felt certain aspects of herself were altering when she was living in Spain. She told the newspaper, I was in Barcelona, wearing sweatpants. I mean, these are sweatpants, but they're a miri, she continued, gesturing to her glossy pants. I had my hair in a bun and was wearing Gap sweatpants in Barcelona. Since then, Shakira and her kids have relocated to Miami, where she is pleased to say her Caribbean accent is starting to come back. My accent. Now that I'm not in Spain, my Caribbean accent is back, she said. Now that my child is in school, I'm hanging out with Baron Quilleras and am surrounded by people from Colombia, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and Cuba. Yes, thank God, my accent is back. Shakira stated back in April that she still believes in love and that she hopes to find a relationship similar to her parents, who have been married for 50 years. The celebrity called monogamy a uptopia. I was searching for the man like my dad, who I'd have kids with and then make plans to be with forever, like my parents, who are still so in love, Shakira said to Marie Claire that I had to give up a lot for this. I was dependable. However, things don't always go as planned. You go on. I cannot say that I don't believe in love because I see the example of my parents after 50 years together, how they look into each other's eyes and hold hands and can't live apart from one other, she continued, insisting she still believes in love that I have seen love, but I haven't experienced it myself. Monogamy is the ideal.